Hey guys, so it is Hogmanay, which is New Year's Eve here in Scotland. Um, we are not out partying at the biggest street party in Europe, or at a crazy Cayley, or at a beautiful fireworks um, display, because both of us caught a kind of 24 hour bug, maybe a little bit longer than that, um, a day or so ago, and we're still recovering. So we are having a quiet night in, um at my my parents house um we have a couple of drinks because i think alcohol might kill any of the bugs but we'll see we also have a cup of tea some snacks but we'll see if we get into them and we are currently watching kindergarten cop on tv <laughs> we're gonna watch some of the um bbc broadcast celebrations whatever you call them um and maybe venture out at like half 11 or something to see some fireworks later on because we can drive up um to a spot high enough over the city to see the castle and Calton hill where all the fireworks are going to be so i think it's going to be quite a calm quiet possibly relaxing hopefully not too ill new year um but yeah let's see how the night goes once again so welcome to 2017 we are this frozen and I'll tell you where we are well I'll show you Woo! we're at South Queen's Ferry um, and today on the first day of every new year for however many years it's been happening um, a bunch of people who are a lot braver than us dress up in fancy dress and do an event called the Looney Duke where they jump into the Firth of the Forth which is probably freezing cold water um, on quite a frosty morning today and they raise a lot of money for charity so we're down here ready to watch it this morning um, but I think we're gonna go off and get a cup of tea and maybe a bacon roll or something first So this is the bridge where when you're growing up in Scotland you're told that the train goes along and then up and over every single archway on it. Come on, this is your summer holidays for an Icelander. <laughs> So Ingmar's going for the whiskey and honey and I'm going for the brown sugar and cream. So porridge in the morning. 
<laughs> and there are some people going off with their costumes, getting ready to go in for the Duke. Fan of oats. Porridge? Porridge. Porridge is amazing. Porridge, but porridge with whiskey and honey in it? Amazing. Yeah. If I didn't have to drive to work every day, this would be mm. my choice. Cheers, dots for the breakfast. Okay, so I am walking along the street, literally wrapped up like this, thinking, this is cold enough for me. Never mind jumping in the first and fourth. Whereas Ingmar would love to be able to do this. So, tell us why, because I'm ready for a cup of tea. Um, for the adrenaline. It looks like it's fun. Uh, it will be cold, but at the same time, when you get out of the water, it's going to be exhilarating. So, I'd probably go for this if we're here next year. Really? So we'll come back next year. And at this time of year, the water is probably warmer than the air. So it's going to be nice to go in. Really? Yep. I'm going to test that theory out. I'm going to put my hand and my finger in and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Another of Scotland's finest cuisines, the square sausage, Lauren sausage roll. On a roll. <laughs> on you going, Gamar? It's yummy, isn't it? Good hangover food. I'm going to do the completely non-brave thing of going down here and just putting my hand in. Mm. So I don't know, what well, I had to hit record because my hands are so freezing that I don't know what I've recorded and what I've not. But basically I was just saying that the water is actually not that cold because I'm so cold it doesn't feel cold. Uh, with the water temperature of 9.4 degrees gonna feel nice for about half a minute minute but that was insane I can't believe how many people actually do this it's amazing morning guys I have no place left today absolutely nothing so I'm gonna have a bath and this is useless <laughs> Ice is coming back slowly, um, but we're starting to pack Ingemar up because he leaves tomorrow. So I'm just going to take you through and show you 
all of the ridiculous amount of shopping that we've done. These are all the bags of shopping that we've managed to achieve in the last few days. And so Ingmar's all packed and ready to go off to the airport today. Hi guys, uh, I'm heading home now, Sonia's driving me. <laughs> I have to show up for work tomorrow. Uh, sadly, it's her birthday tomorrow as well, so I won't be there. Uh, she asked me if I had left her a card, which I did not. The card is going to be waiting for her at home. And a few surprises are going to come her way on her birthday. But yeah, I have to leave lovely Scotland. We actually have sunshine now. Not sure how much of that you can see. But it's been a very pleasant uh, Christmas in Hockmany. I uh, enjoyed time with the family and my beloved Sonia. I will see you guys soon when Sonia reunites with me in Iceland. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Ingmar. See you in a week's time. In a week. When I'm another year older. Woo! Bye! Hey guys, it's my birthday. Today is my birthday. Um, I still have a really, really bad voice. So you'll have to excuse that. It does feel quite sore now. Um, but yeah, I got up this morning, managed to speak to Ingemar, um, had a cup of tea back in bed, and I did a giveaway on Instagram. So please check out my Instagram. Um, I'll link it below here. There is a giveaway of a diary and some pens um, and I'm gonna do that run that giveaway until this Sunday so make sure you're following on there and also like and comment that photo. Um, but aside from that I am pretty much home alone. It's quite strange actually to be here for my birthday and nobody else is here. So my mum is still away um, on she went away for New Year so she's still away on that trip she gets back tonight though so I'll see her then everyone else is back at work um, so yeah it's kind of it's nice to be back home don't get me wrong anyway my friend is coming round to pick me up with her daughter and we're gonna go out for lunch so that'd be really nice um, I have one present right here from my mum's partner so I'm gonna open up that now and then get ready to go out. That's really cool. I love it. So we're at Whitmuir today, it's the organic place and there's a walk that we're going to do that's a fairy walk. Yeah, and I've got Nina with me and Caroline's just gone back to the car and we're going to do this fairy walk which goes all the way up here, a bit muddy, not really wearing the right shoes for it, but it's got this lovely fence and then it goes over around this pond and it's a beautiful day for it. So we're going to check out up to the wigwam and see. Time. <laughs> so this is the vegetable patch over here, kind of allotment, but it's so cute. Yeah, it goes the whole way up. 
So down there is the farm cafe, the restaurant. And then up there is where all the animals are. And they've got a petting area so you can take children to see the pigs and the cows. And then that's all in the trees where the uh, fairy walk was. And then there's this wigwam. So I just wanted to finish the vlog this week and just say that I've had such a lovely birthday today. Um, I spent most of the day with my good friend Caroline and her daughter Nina and it was so special to have that whole day, just the three of us. Um, and then I went to my brother's house with his family and my sister and her boyfriend and we just had a nice quiet evening, ate really good food and just chatted and talked about the wedding and hen weekend and all that kind of thing that's coming up. So a lovely, lovely day. And now um, I've just FaceTimed Ingemar and I'm waiting for my mum to come back home. So yeah, another year older. Um, I got some really cool presents today. So I got a coat from Ingemar. Um, which is great because I really needed a good winter coat, like a proper, sensible <laughs> waterproof coat. Um, so I got that and I got chocolates and um, an interesting book, which I think I showed you earlier. I got a really funny um, ice scraper for the car. I will show you that. It is hilarious. Um, this is like a memory game <laughs> and a whole load of other goodies but I might do like a video of what I got for Christmas birthday kind of thing it is something that is around on YouTube and I like to watch them and kind of nosy um, so I might do it see if you guys like it but yeah that's everything for this week I'll see you next week bye welcome home mom <laughs>